Bethesda Game Studios presents Starfield. For this very beginning part, I'll just kind of let the dialogue play out. Oh wow, these graphics are sick. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for rune space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Alright. And now we're picking up after the dialogue. This next chunk is just really kind of the tutorial level. During this part, my keyboard actually disconnected, so I'll just kind of jump through. And we just learn how to pick up a weapon and kind of break some rocks. And we can pick up with the next important scene that progresses us through the tutorial. Which is finding this rock that we've been looking for. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Do you see anything? Just take it. Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Alright, so now we get to make our own character. And here is our end character, and the background we went with was Cyber Runner. From Neon to New Atlantis, the megacorps stand as monuments to power, prestige, and profit. You've worked both for and against them, on the inside and out, often sacrificing conscience for credits. And we have these starting skills, Stealth, Security, and Thief. So first off, we have Stealth. This is for combatants who value discretion above all else. The ability to approach a target while undetected and kill with a silenced weapon is as terrifying as it is effective. 
Next up we have security. While the standardized digital lock mechanism is renowned for security, any code can be broken with the proper training. So this one basically gives us lock picking. Then we have thief, while not entirely honorable and certainly not legal, it is nonetheless occasionally necessary to discreetly remove property from someone's person. <laughs> So this one basically gives us uh, pickpocketing. And now let's go to our traits. All right, for the first trait, I'm going to pick Hero Worshipped. This gives me an adoring fan. Next up, Kid Stuff. My parents are alive and well, and you can visit them at their home but you automatically send them 2% of your credits home to them every week. I'm also going to do Neon Street Rat, and so this gives me some special dialogue, but the funny thing is I also have kid stuff selected, so I wonder how this is going to play out. And let's go ahead and confirm. You were one of the weirdest hires I've ever had. From hacking computers to digging for minerals, you're lucky our turnover rate is so high. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? It was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Alright, and let's play with this camera angle a little bit. It's nice to see that they have like the third person, but then also like real third person. So it's almost like um, if you guys are familiar with Gears of War at all, and then they give you another view as well. I thought they were kind of a joke. Yo, did you hear this guy cough? You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Oh man, guys. My dude is looking pretty sick with this giant laser. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? Who does that? No helmet on yet, though. Space we've already got complicated enough. Not to them. Oh, you don't look good. Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know. Me and the boss. Just snatch me another gun. Yeah, right? Yeah. You need some coffee or something? I'll take your sandwich, boy. Got a packet. Right here somewhere. Shut up. Uh, hey, that was my sandwich! <laughs> yeah. You got a few more digs to go before yeah, I feel like talking to you. I don't want to talk to you. Anything back here? Coffee mug. Lemon. I think I can take this without them getting mad. Yo, nice. 140 bucks right there. Uh, darts. You fitting in okay? Mining crews ain't the friendliest, but. Not okay, really folks. in here, right? I see something pop up every now and then. Oh uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing really. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. All right, so I got to select inventory, which is on my lower right-hand side. Select helmet. And let's go ahead and equip that. Press and hold tab to exit. 
We just got our helmet on, so let's go outside. And guys, the graphics are just so sick. I can't get over this. I'm playing on my other PC. I think this is a 3080. Um, and the, the graphics card is just like this anime girl. It's kind of funny. Let's just check out the ship that is landing down now. But first, let's check this med pack. Oh, I just got a gun. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to get that. Just gonna take a look around a little bit before hopping onto that plane. So I've just been looting for like five minutes and I haven't found much. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just head over to this plane and progress the storyline a little bit. <laughs> Yo, where'd that robot come from? You could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Oh shoot, we got enemies incoming. Enemies incoming. Let me go into my inventory, get my gun ready, and then we can go and blast these fools. I'm not 100% sure what gun to use. Um. Let's go ahead and pick, I guess, this handgun for right now. Yo, this third person is pretty cinematic. And look at the robot just running up there, too. Let's get behind this cover. Uh, I don't know how to crouch. I'm pressing C. Oh, there we go. We control. Alright, let's take some shots at these guys. We're pretty far away. Looks like I'm landing a few hits, maybe. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> there we go. We got a confirmed kill there. And let's make that two. Oh, shoot. I actually think that's a good guy that I'm shooting at. <laughs> Is that oops. oops shot still being fired oh. let's go over here and see oh here they are oh man my I'm not shooting I can't shoot for some reason all right let's try going into the inventory and switching over to this cutter and let's see if that has a little bit better damage than just that pistol. Oh yeah, that cut right through his health. Can't really tell if I'm hitting... Oh my gosh. Oh 
Look at this dude. Let's go ahead and take his equipment. Oh shoot! <laughs> this guy's just over here hiding out behind everyone and <laughs> now he gets lasered to his butt. Going around collecting all the dead bodies. Try to. Looks like there's still someone else. Now, was my gun out of ammo or was I just not shooting? Let's try this gun. Let me go ahead and equip this rifle, and then let's try this out. Oh, I accidentally hit tab twice there. And oh yeah, look at these shots. I think I hit there. I'm not seeing them now, I gotta... Oh, there's no one. Oh, man, dude, my controls are a little bad. There we go. Jeez, my guns are just kind of like firing. Or not firing. They're not firing when I need them to fire, and then they're firing when I don't need them to fire. I think I need to readjust my sensitivity after this battle. But let's go ahead and grab all this loot. All the loot that we can. And we'll jump over here. Grab this stuff too. All the loot. Alright, and I think that's everybody now. I think we killed everyone. Yo, look at this guy. He is geared. He is stacked. Let's grab all that. Let's check. I think I looted all these people. Oh, look. Here's a gun. Alright, let's check out our inventory. We got quite a bit of items now. So right now I'm just going through and assigning my certain weapons to different hotkeys and then I'm just cleaning up my inventory overall and checking out the different outfits I have. Overall this part took like a few minutes and I'm just going to kind of uh, shorten it down a little bit. Alright. Let's do a once over, just check on all these dead bodies. Ran straight at those pirates like it was nothing. Were you in that dust up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know you don't get paid extra for bravery, right? Good point. This attack better not be coming out of our pay. Sounds good. You're part of this now. 100%. Um, yeah, for real. If you take me off this damn moon, sign me up. Nothing wrong with honest work. Although, uh, uh, yeah, yes. See your point. Oh, no, Barrett. <laughs> no. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay Crimson and I send Fleet. your Dusty here in my place? Uh, I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. <clears throat> Uh, thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco! 
Get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Nice. Got a watch. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Yeah, this is... Alright, so we can press tab to exit the dialogue when we're done asking questions, but I think the first thing we're going to ask is, what did we dig up? Followed by who the Crimson Fleet is. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Hmm. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a... Loot collector. Treasure hunter. See, that's the problem with the <clears throat> settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Mm -hmm. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Technically, it's not even mine. <laughs> Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Alright, it sounds like we're about to be taking his ship. Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. All right. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> <laughs> We're still in one piece. Oh, God. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Alright, I think I got all the loot I can out of this. Let's see. Can't really interact with anything over here, it looks like. Yeah, that looks like everything. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and go on the ship. We do got a few mid packs now. Um, let's go to aid. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got this sandwich we took from the one dude. We can go ahead and eat that. And I might as well just use one med pack. We have. Yeah, we had ten. Now we have nine. Let's see what that does to our health. Not bad. Pretty decent. It looks like we're right around... Full health. Nice. Alright. Anything else down here before I go on and board? Oh, there was. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and board the ship. Captain Jake. Oh! I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. That's me. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Oh, look at that. I think this is a lock pick right here, the digi pick. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. And then we got some snacks to drill. I'm just gonna take a few seconds and explore everything in here. 
<laughs> Don't use. Oh, nice, a med pack. Just seeing if there's anything of value around here. Cool, let's look at this. The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes. By completing research projects, each research project requires material in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw materials extracted from a planet to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made at an industrial workbench. Cool. So we got pharmaceutical, food, outpost development, equipment, and weaponry. Uh, let's go take a look at weapons first. So it doesn't look like I can do really any of this stuff. Yeah, so right now I just don't really have any of that material. But that's pretty cool. All that is available right here on the ship. Let's see. Oh nice, we got a little restroom here. So we'll take that clamp. I did see something to interact with. Oh, the getting in the seat, never mind. Alright, let's go ahead and try our hand at piloting. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Alright, hold space to take off. This is super cool. Now that we are in the orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Uh, yeah, definitely not an experienced pilot. Hold left all and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. You can skip the tutorial by powering all systems up, including grav drive. So let's see, holding left, alt, and A. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Alright, I... A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Oh, I didn't realize I had to press Let's it again. Let's turn our attention to the shields. 
Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage without a hull of devaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Why'd I get up? Why'd I get up? Oh my gosh, come on, come on, sit down. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can log in to fire a All right. missile. I held E. <coughs> I held E. Captain, ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Slowing down my speed a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. Ah! Jeez, that thing almost hit me. Uh, where'd it go? Right here. Okay, here we go. Take, take, take. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, All Captain. Right.
Alright, so this is where it told me to go um, to the star map. Travel between the stars. Zoom out to see the entire system. Zoom out again to see the stars in the settled system. Plot a course by selecting the star system you want to travel to. Your ship can only jump so many light years at once. So, distant star systems may require you to jump a bit closer first. Yeah, let's look at our mission. Toggle which quest is tracked on your hub. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of objectives. Select any objective in the quest to track the whole quest. You can press the set course button to automatically navigate to your active quest objective. Alright, so travel to Kiev. Let's go ahead and set course. Set course for Crete, yes. Where am I now? travel okay so that's what I was supposed to do instead of just driving over to it we have arrived in orbit the abandoned facility with our crimson fleet captain is on the surface press tab to open the data menu from there you can open the star map. The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources, and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view, then select the map icon and land there. <clears throat> Here we go. Alright, so we selected it, and now we can go ahead... And what do we gotta do? Scan, maybe? Oh, we just hit X. Gotcha. Well, we scanned the planet as well for resources. It popped up for a second, but I didn't take a I didn't get a good look at it. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. Let's go ahead right away and we'll exit the ship. Um, I, I've already looked at the ship a few times so I don't think there's anything else we need in here. Alright, and let's just see the quick handgun, rifle, that. Okay. We'll just get the rifle out. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. Alright. Where'd that other one go? I can hear him moving around.
thought I saw something over here. Let me go real quick. I don't want to get too far off track. This is what I was heading towards, this green thing right here. Yeah. Doesn't look like much. Yeah. Alright, let's just head to the research center then. And this gives me a pretty good vantage point here. So, I'll just make my advance this way. Yeah, so like I said, I'm just gonna make my advance up here. Um, being on the high ground, I feel like this is gonna be a good vantage point. I'll be able to like see the whole facility. And my main things I'm gonna be looking for is like any, any uh, pirates out or any of those bug creatures that we were fighting before. And just kind of being on this hill and having a high vantage point, I hope it will allow me to see any enemies there. And then once we clear the area, uh, we'll be able to move into the facility and start clearing out the inside of it. Um, so that is the plan right now. Let's see what we can see on top of this hill. I'm not seeing anyone on the outside. What is this? Can I get this? No. I might be being a little bit too cautious, but I just want to make sure there's no one out here. I'm not seeing anyone. Just go ahead and make our way up here. Yeah, still not seeing anyone over there. I wonder if I can make this jump. Probably not. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like a little bit too far of a jump. I will never understand the human inclination towards taking Unnecessary risks. <laughs> Just go ahead and grab any materials we see here. Really, nothing over here, huh? Alright, let's go to the other side. Wow, guys, I can't really believe this. There's not really much loot out here. And I was kind of expecting a little bit more of an enemy presence outside of this building. I mean, all we had to do was, like, kill three bugs to get here. Um, but... I'm not going to drop my guard just because of that. Going into this building, I'm going to go nice and slow, guns up, peeking around the corners, 
and trying to get some extra loot too. So let's see if anyone's in this first area. Alright, I'm not sure when we're gonna start seeing people here, but I am crouched down just looking for loot. I should check my inventory soon. <clears throat> I know the robot's gonna give me away almost instantly, but I should check my inventory soon just to make sure I'm not almost full on stuff. And look at this, we got a med pack right here. What's this, screwdriver, nothing. Oh yeah, I can press F I think as my flashlight. What's this? Staple gun? Anything over here? Look at that. Double. Alright, before I go in, I'm just gonna check my inventory. Alright, 95 out of 135. We looks like we're doing good. For this one, let's go ahead and add this to my 4 slot. Alright. Move my computer a little closer, hopefully it tracks a little bit better, mouse and keyboard wise. Let's go ahead and Oh yeah, it's already tracking way better. Before the my computer is in the other room and on the far side of the wall. I moved it to the close side and now we're getting my uh, keyboard is Wi-Fi 2, Curious. and now These it's getting way really better traction. But we are in Free Star See what's in the lockers, if they have anything in here. This was once a secret <clears throat> Not really. Oh, look at that. Gold? Pyramid Sculpture. Alright, you guys can feel free to pause it and read it if you want. See so guys, it's always nice to explore a little bit because you see that I just got a bunch of ammo and stuff there. Let's come over this way. I'm not sure if there's any enemies, that's why I'm kind of like just crouching around. Bad people, bad jokes. Got some board games and everything like that. We'll pick that up as well. <laughs> I just can't help myself, guys. Any Bethesda game, I just have to pick up everything that I see. Well, at least anything that has value. What I'm expecting is the very first place I get to, I'll go ahead and sell a lot of the stuff that I have. And let's see, this looks like the last lootable area. Oh, shoot. Um, 
There we go. Don't know what that was. Let's take some of this stuff. Impact. And... Oh, there's bottom stuff on the fridges too. Nothing in the bottom. Let's see, notepad, coffee mug. We got a book here. And let's start making our way up to the top floor. Oh, look at that thing. I almost missed this. 300 gold. Or, I should say 300 credits. Alright. Let's go ahead and crouch up here. No one up here. Let's reload. So it looks like it's another floor up. I know I'm gonna run out of space soon. Let me see my inventory. Ah, uh, I'm still doing pretty good. I think we can start making our way up to the next area. Oh, here we go. We got some digi locks. And tissues, nothing really there. Nice, nice, guys. Alright, let's take a peek around here. Nothing going on. We'll just peek every corner. Not sure when we're going to get enemies. Alright, and there we go. Into the next room. Got a spoon. Nothing really here. Anything in this corner, not seeing much. We got a dead body over here. Uh, let's go ahead and take that notebook. Credits. Nothing really there. So we do, we found a dead body. That is not great. Look like a scientist too. Fire extinguisher. <clears throat> Medical tray. Got a tool. Nothing really in there. Nothing in the crate. Let's check this side room right here. Nothing. Oh, we got a locker. Coffee mug. And that's all. I'll take the coffee mug. 50 bucks. And it's hardly any weight. Alright. This room is clear. Let's move on to the next one. Still not seeing any enemies yet. I hear someone though. Alright, 
let's take these. water wine glass we got some wine glasses here might as well pick those up what's this right here coffee mug uh, I'll go ahead and take another one all right so we can see the pirates are in the other room Oof. All right, let's be slow, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Open up this door. Slowly, slowly peek around. Not seeing anyone in this first corner. Ooh. I don't know who's almost detecting us. We are just inching up to this door to kind of get a peek around it. Alright, here we go. There's a pirate over there. Let's take our first shots at this guy. Alright, where's this other person at? Oh, shit! That's another one down. What an idiot. Where is this guy? Alright, we got two down. There's a third one over here somewhere. Let's move cover. Got him. There we go, guys. Not bad first battle. We did get hit once. But that's not the end of the world. We're still good on HP. I'll go ahead and heal up now. I might want to put my med pack right here. And is it favorited already? Oh, it is. It's zero. All right. And let's see. Yeah, we'll keep it at zero. Um, and let's see, do I have, whoops, I didn't mean to click that, whoops, okay, here, let's just press I, um, my health doesn't seem to be going up any, so, let's go back into aid, and maybe we'll eat, like, a sandwich, restore three health, uh, three health, five health, here we go, and restore HP. We'll do a sandwich too. All right, now let's check around. Take. All right, these enemies were easy enough that I probably don't need to be crouching around everywhere. But I am a stealth build, so it's like a little give and take, you know? Just going through and picking up all these wine glasses that I can, they seem to be pretty good. Looks like we have a handgun here, and a lockpick, coffee mug, notebook, and the bathroom stalls, nothing really going on here, get out of my way robot. All right. Um, before we get into here, let's just press zero, get our little health pack going. I'm pretty sure I checked all this area. Um, maybe not this vending machine. Did that? Oh yeah, it looked like I got something added to my inventory there. Deck of cards. And let's see... 
anything else here. That deck of cards look pretty valuable. Let's go ahead and go to the next room. Just start ducking down once we reach the top of the steps. One thing that's really nice is like when you go up to a corner and aim, your character peeks out from that corner and it still it allows me to still be like in cover. Looks like there's Oh, I thought that was a person. check out this area sounds like they're watching some security footage so let's uh go ahead and loot while they're distracted look at these desk assistants oh a cigar no that's a pen <laughs> thought it was a cigar i was about to be rich um yeah man like i'll take this stuff let's see no one in here this up here. Multi-pack. Nice. Got some darts. Got an outfit. Oh, a safe. Here we go, guys. Uh, this is going to be... Oh, look, a board game. This is going to be our first lock pick we're going to try. Let's go ahead and see what this is like. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select the key and rotate until it lines up with the gaps in the security layer. Slot the key and fill the gaps. Each key can only be used once. Alright, let's see. So this one has three, all right, so it looks like it's these two probably. So let's go ahead, um, I guess I press E here to start, and let's see, probably this one right here, E, uh, and then let's go through this. Pick this one first. Right there looks good. E. And dang, I did not do it right. Let's go ahead and exit. Let's try that again. Uh, the reason I exited is I saw that doing the undo button actually cost uh, the data locks. So if you get stuck, just go ahead and exit instead of undoing. And then let's see if we can get it on our second try. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing many options that we can go with. Hmm. go here here that and this there we go look at this we got a cool gun let's go ahead and just press R and take all of this and then I'm also gonna go like this and possibly switch to that new gun that we got 
only three damage. Actually, I might just keep where I'm at right now. That's probably a good gun. Gu a good gun to sell. Got some toys over here. Let's keep looking around. This room was pretty good to start off. Um, we'll take that med pack. Take some shotgun shells. What about this computer? All right. Uh, Nothing really in there. Uh, let's go ahead and take that. Oh, here we go. Got some more games. Book. I am just going through robbing these pirates blind. <laughs> bed. Oh, here we go. Playing cards. And we got this desk, desk assistant. Uh, it looks like we're at capacity. So let's see what we can do here. We can probably go ahead and drop some of these. Like maybe six of them. can probably drop some of these, and we can probably drop some of these. Alright, let's see how that's looking for- oh yeah, that's way better. We're running low on inventory space, so I'm going to try not to take too much more stuff. Alright, let's start advancing. It sounded like they were in here. Alright. Alright, not in here. I just can't help myself, guys. I just have to keep taking stuff. Not much in those lockers. Oh, this is gonna be good right here. Yep, take that. See anything here? Snack pack. Oh, whoa, look at this, guys. Some guns. Oh, this gun is pretty good. Let me see what that gun was that we just picked up. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool, um, but still lower damage than the gun we currently have equipped, so... I'll just keep on keeping on. And I think I don't really want to loot any more stuff in there unless it's really good. Alright, there we go. We saw some flashlights moving down at the end of this hall. Let's start our advance. Now, there is a left. Alright, good. Nice, nice. There we go. Frag grenade and a mine. Let's take some of this stuff. Um, one thing I'm gonna do here 
I'm thinking the last few times people have ran over to me and tried to kill me. Um, to prevent that, I want to get some of these mines here. And so I'm going to switch over to number nine. Let's go like this. Nine. How do I throw? Throw grenade is mouse four or G for grenade. Okay. So let's just go ahead and pop a mine over there. And we'll get right here behind cover. Uh, and let's go ahead and start picking our shots. Oh, don't blow up my thing, you idiot. Oh my gosh. Hey, back up. Dude, if this guy blows up my mind, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where'd they go? Yeah, that's you where I'm You are trying to have thinking. lost them. Uh, he's just standing right on my mouth. There are no hostile organisms nearby. Alright, let's go ahead and take that mine. That didn't work out as planned. Here we go, we got a pretty far shot on the enemy there. Might as well reload. And let's just go right over here, throw out that mine. Back up into cover. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. That grenade, or the mine worked. There we go. But now, where is this person's dead body? <laughs> they got blown up, bruh. Damn it! Lost them. Looks like we got some people up here, so let's switch over to this, and then just, like, lob a grenade up there. That definitely sounded pretty effective. <laughs> Seeing people. Might as well take that. Geez, two pounds though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. You ain't gonna do shit. What is this? Cube. Oh, shoot. That guy kind of came out of nowhere, but he's pretty suppressed right now by the bot. Let's see if I can go up and surprise him a bit. Got him. There is another enemy right over here. Where? Where is this guy? I see him on the mini-map, I think. Got him. Alright, so we did get a skill point. So let's go ahead and see what that's all about. Press P. You received one skill point to spend every time you level up. Each skill unlocks a challenge, complete the challenge, and spend a skill point to rank up that skill. The top row represents basic skills. The rows below are locked until you have spent the minimum number of skill points in that category. Cool, cool. So let's see what we got. I've only done one sneak attack so far. Let's see what else is there. So, buy for 
5% less, send for, sell for 10% more. This might be good since I have a ton of inventory right now. Although the other thing that might be good is just increasing my capacity. Let's see, is there anything else? Medicine might be good. Piloting or booster pack unlock. You can now utilize booster pack. Uh, I might go ahead and do this one. Just so I can use the booster pack now. Boost jump 10 times while in combat. Alright. My other thing was to perform some, some more sneak attacks. Um, so when I get into this next area, I'll probably go ahead and just duck down so that I can try to get some more sneak attacks off. Oh, look at this. I accidentally pressed F. Um, I meant to press E. Scan creatures, materials, and plants. Each unique item scanned progresses your survey data on the planet. Complete the survey data. It can be sold for credits, okay? Interesting. So this is all the stuff that I can interact with. I might as well go loot some of these dead bodies over here. Yeah, look at all that stuff that I would have missed. Coffee mug. Marker. Got some markers over there. What the hell is that? Uh, oh, shoot. This thing, what? Whoa, look at that. Alright, let's check out these guys. Already looted those too. Folder, and that looks like a cube. I'm probably good with loot for right now. Let's not overdo it. Um, I say that and then I go and loot someone else right away. Man, guys, I have a problem with looting right now. <laughs> Let's see this computer. Uh, nothing really in here. And weapon case. We got a pistol. And... Gosh, guys, I can't help myself. Alright, there we go. Let's go back into the scanner mode. Oh, look at this. Weapon case. Whoa. Yo, look at that thing. That's the thing that jumped out and tried to get us earlier. Uh, downstairs in the locker, I believe. And... Mm, that's probably too much weight. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm near weight right now already. Let's see about that one gun that I just picked up. Oh, there's the handgun that we got before. That one is actually really good. You know what? I might go ahead and put this as my gun. And look at this one. Accuracy 70%. This one's pretty sick. I'll go ahead and put this as 5. Not bad. So this must have been where my grenade exploded that I threw up here. 
Um, oh, look, I actually did get some people with that, it looks like. Let's take his credits and some ammo. I'm gonna start leaving their guns there unless they're modded. Ah, I'm over encumbered again. We can drop this as well. And probably these unupgraded ones. This one I might keep because it has all these enhancements and I can probably just sell that one. As soon as I drop stuff, I just gotta pick more shit up, man. Med pack. Let's see. Nothing really in here. So let's just keep on moving. Oh. Let's duck down. Alright guys, we hear the pirates in the other side of this room. I, saw I thought I saw a flashlight. seen them yet. Also, let's go ahead and select our our mine. I'm seeing a bunch of stuff over here. Notebooks. Nothing too crazy important. We got a dead scientist over here. And there's a guy up there. I bet I can shoot him right in his dick. <laughs> oh man, these energy weapons are sick. Enemy activity detected. We got one more guy. He ran away though. Where do you run off to? Look like this way. Nope. What is going on in this room? Anything in here? Not really. Where'd that guy run off to? Alright, let's just loot these guys. Loot the scientists, got some money on them. Oh, okay. I didn't realize this was a lockpick, but let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So that looks like a good move. Let's go ahead and take that, and then it looks like I can go right here, take that, and then probably here, and here. Alright, let's get the scanner out just to make sure we don't miss anything here. Uh, samples. Got another one of that. Notebooks. Soil. Another one. Got a computer in here. More samples. More samples, more samples. Ammo case. And we got a safe. Oh, what's this? Soil box. Alright, so we got another safe. Let's go ahead and try this out. We gotta move right here. That looks pretty good. Alright, that actually looks better, 
and we'll, yeah, we'd be able to go here. So let's do that, followed by this. And then we got two moves here and here, followed by this. Okay, nice. Got some more lock picks, good. Uh, sorry, got some more lock picking experience, good. And we got some ammo, credits, med pack, and we got a new gun, modified rattler. All right. So I'm gonna check this computer. Most of the time, there's nothing really on it. Yeah. Nothing really. All right, let's keep our advance up. Got a lamp, genetic samples, more of it. I don't get why they wouldn't uh, just put all the dead bodies in like one room, especially if this is their camp. <laughs> Now, one guy did get away, so I am being a little cautious here. Alright, and let's look back at our stuff. <sighs> so we have to jump pack ten times in combat, lockpick five things. We have to pit pocket people and sneak attacks. Alright. I feel pretty good about that. Let's just check these other rooms real quick. Pretty much anything that's worth a lot of money and has a low carry weight, I am taking for myself. Alright, let's go ahead and go upstairs. I'm just trying to figure out where this guy went. Got another dead scientist in that room. Not sure how to get in there yet. Look at that, there, there's a dead guy up here. Oh nice, and he had a lockpick on him. Oh wow, this must have been the beast that they had in here. Let's keep moving guys. Yep, dead scientist here. He's got some milk. He needs some milk. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck! When mm. I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty crazy. I'm wondering if we're gonna have to fight that thing. see what else stuff oh here we go we got another ability to lock pick something let me just check out the rest of this room first i think we're good let's go ahead and do another lock pick So we do have something there, but I don't know that that's right. So look at this. This one goes on the second level for sure. That one... This one looks pretty good here. Look at that. That one. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and try this. Followed by this. We know this one's good here. And get this last one. Boom, there we go. Nice, all we need is one more. I hope I didn't miss any somewhere. Uh, like the lock picking areas, because I wonder if I should be able to fully upgrade in this one mission. But let's go ahead and keep up the advance. Before I go through this door, I'm just going to go ahead and eat a sandwich or anything that I have to boost the health a little bit. Uh, yeah, here we go. Mass. Anything heavy? This one's pretty heavy. I'll go ahead and eat that. And I'll do another... And some of this as well. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Alright. We got pretty good HP now. Let's keep on moving. Safe nearby. We can make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. <laughs> nice. Um, sorry to spoil it for you, but I have been lockpicking everything. So now, oh, there we go. Get rid of that guy. Oh, and look, we got stuff on here. Doesn't look like we can really take any of this except the tape. And let's see, what's cheese? They're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. Hmm. I don't like how this is an unknown date, because it might have been yesterday. <laughs> Although they do look to be... They do look to be dead for a while. Um, but let's go ahead and do this lockpick. Alright. That looks like second level. Hmm, not sure how that one fits in. This one looks good here, followed by this one. So let's go ahead and execute these two moves that we think are good. Oh, this looks like it. Look at that. B e and B. E. There we go. Five out of five lock picks. And we got two digi picks out of this. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's go into our perks real quick. And I want to see what this, uh, now that we have the five lockpicks, oh, we just unlocked the ability to go up to this one. Uh, expert locks, and you get three auto attempts. Rings now turn blue when the pick can be slotted. Interesting. All right, and let's go up here, roof access. So we just got to remember grenade is G. And all right. Oh my, hello there. <laughs> uh, oh, let's get some of these vials.
55 each. Notebook, nothing. Med pack. And here we go, we got a space helmet. Let's go ahead and take a look at that space helmet real quick. So this is pretty much the same exact helmet that I have, but this just comes with the additional benefit of minus 15% incoming enemy damage. Minus 15% incoming energy damage. We are over encumbered though. If it comes to it, I will drop these uh, desk assistants, but I think we're good for right now. Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. You gotta oh. be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? <laughs> um... What's your problem anyway? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Alright, well, come on, buddy. Let's fight. Oh, this'll be fun. Is that reinforcements for them already? <laughs> that is reinforcements for them. Violence significantly decreases once life expectancy. Alright. We gotta switch guns real quick. Uh, I think we can just go two. Yep. Got him. Nice to get my uh, my mind back. There it is, right here. Let's just try not to uh, blow it up. Come on, come on, come on. E. I'm not gonna be fast traveling. I don't want to run away from this combat. Uh, did I pick up a weapon on accident? I think I did. Yeah, look at this. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this. All 
Alright. Not having much luck with uh, <laughs> shooting people while jumping around. Let's see if we can get... Oh, here we go. One down. Nice. There we go. Got the jetpack already. And last guy right here. Nice. That was pretty cool. I was able to get the jetpack. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and drop. There we go. Alright, there we go. So So we did not find the monster that's here. A little worried about that. Unknown location, unknown location. Are we encumbered right now? It did give us uh, kind of the dialogue, let's see. Yeah, we are. That should bring me back up to better. Weight capacity. No. Careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Where do we see an alien creature at? Wait, where do we see an alien creature at? What am I missing?
All right, we made it back to the ship. One thing I want to do real quick is just go ahead and Did I do a little bit of aid? No. Aid. So where are these on my... Oh, they're zero, okay. All right, and let's go ahead and board. Captain Jake, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. All right, let's go ahead and press tab, select missions in the bottom section, gotcha. Press R to automatically plot a course. And here we go. Let's go ahead and jump there. Entering patrolled area, no contraband on ship. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Alright, and then I'm pretty sure I can go back to the tab, go to the map, and pick here. Do a little scan. And let's just go ahead and land. One of the things I definitely want to do after this tutorial mission is kind of go back to that planet we were just at and finish exploring it. But I definitely have to do these tutorial missions first. Alright, let's go ahead and exit the ship, and the first thing I'm going to be doing is looking for a merchant to trade with. Um, oh! Let's go ahead and trade. Get rid of most of that heavy stuff, and then I think that's good. Yeah, look at that, 96. Got a lot of the weight out of there. And this guy was talking to me when I first pulled up. Let's see what he wants. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. I already did. All right. Everything looks good here. I'll Thank be you. at my booth if you need me. All right, guys, let's just keep on going. Sold off some stuff. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colony All right, guys, and I think go we're going to go against. ahead and end it here. Well, the first episode, we went through the tutorial mission, cleared out the pirates, and landed on our first planet, 